I'm going to be resetting for spring. It's been spring for a minute now, like it's like the third week of spring or something. But I'm a little bit late to this, but I've been seeing everyone like resetting for spring. And I feel like last year I did a vlog similar to this. I did the spring cleaning, but like I want to do like a resetting for spring because I feel like spring is like the perfect time to reset. Like, you know, in the beginning of the year when people do like the reset with me for the new year, I feel like spring is like the second reset of the year and it's like it gets you ready for like the good months of the year, especially people that live in like cold places like seasonal depression is over everything is just over and everything just starts looking beautiful because summer is coming the beach the good vibes the sun all of that so i wanted to do like a little reset video and you know change my bed sheets go grocery shopping cleaning all of that kind of stuff so if you like these videos don't forget to subscribe and also like the video and yeah i'm just gonna take you guys along a couple of days just resetting for spring and getting excited because summer is right around the corner and i literally cannot wait like i feel like this summer is going to be the best summer of my life and like i feel like i always say that but like this summer i actually feel like it's going to be like the best thing ever so in order to prep for summer we need to prep for spring first so i'm going to start by changing my bed sheets because i feel like my bed really needs a refresh and that's like the main focus of my room and just like my whole life so let's start off with that pretty chilly out right now like it's like the perfect spring day today it's a little bit chilly it's not super hot it's been really hot the past couple of days but today i went out on my balcony and it's like actually like kind of chilly like it's kind of cold but i want to you know get some sun because i feel like i haven't gotten some sun in such a long time so i decided that i'm not going to wear like a shirt i'm just going to wear like this sports bra and then these leggings because like it's kind of cold so i don't want to wear shorts but yeah i'm wearing these leggings my workout shoes and this little hat and yeah i'm just gonna go on a little spring walk it's gonna be super peaceful hopefully the trees are like giving spring i don't even know i'm in miami so it's hard for miami to you know go along with the seasons like i haven't seen like the pink leaves yet but hopefully we see some spring vibes but anyways let's go on this spring walk <music> I'm currently on my walk oh my god the birds are chirping they're doing a lot of building houses and stuff around my neighborhood so there's a lot of trucks everywhere especially today because it's like a friday but i've seen a couple of like pink like trees like plants like blossoming i get the worst anxiety when a car passes by and i'm like filming like it's really embarrassing and just the fact that like people could be watching me through their windows like in their houses gives me like the worst anxiety but i'm trying to get better at like vlogging in public because hello anyways um i'm walking around and i've seen a couple of like trees and plants um with like spring colors like a bunch of like pink and i think that that's like so pretty so cute and i'm so happy i really like feel the spring vibes especially today because like i said like the weather is so nice today like it's not as humid and I mean, it's still like hot, like it's not like it's cold, but like it's like the perfect weather like for Miami during this time. It's literally amazing. I don't understand how there isn't like more people walking. I've seen a, a couple of people walking their dogs, but I mean, you should really take advantage of this weather living here because it's like the perfect weather. I love it. I'm probably gonna start like running in a little bit because I've been like walking this whole time. I've been walking for like an hour and i've been listening to music i don't know why i haven't really like put on a podcast usually i put on a podcast but i don't know today i was feeling like the music vibes so i'm probably gonna start running soon i want to get a little a little jog in i just got back from my walk and it was so nice and i stopped by the gym before coming home because i wanted to do some exercises on the machines 
and I just feel so good right now that I got that workout in. I had a very good workout. I left my house like an hour and 30 minutes ago or like two hours ago so it was a very long workout very much needed and now i'm gonna go shower because i'm super sticky i put on sunscreen before my walk so i'm very sticky and i really just want to shower and get ready for the day so that's exactly what i'm gonna do and i'll see you guys when i'm out of the shower <music> So I have a mini little grocery haul. So first I got two cucumbers because I'm really on my healthy grind. I really want to get healthier and I actually like cucumbers, but I never eat them. So I decided to buy some. We got some pasta. Here we have the pipe regatone and then here we have the farfalle. I got some almond milk because I used to drink almond milk, but then somehow, I don't know why, I stopped. And now I'm back on my almond milk because I really want to stop drinking dairy it's not good so i want to leave the normal milk and get more into the almond milk then i got my favorite creamer the zero added sugar it's very good and i got some dino nuggets just because i never eat them and i'm like i'm just gonna treat myself to some dino nuggets because why not okay like it's like i never eat this so like it's fine once in a while and then I stocked up on some eggs because I ran out. But the other day, we also got some bananas. So we got some healthy things, but I just needed to get these things right now. And I'm going to put everything away now. So right now, it's currently 3 p.m. and I'm making lunch. I'm currently boiling some pasta. I was really craving some pasta right now. And since I went on my walk and I worked out and it was a pretty hard workout, then I'm going to make some food. So I'm very hungry right now. I'm drinking some Prime. It looks a little bit weird, but I put it in some ice because something about me is I cannot drink things if they're not like freezing. Like I need all my drinks to be freezing cold. I'm like an ice girl all the way. So I put some ice and I'm currently drinking that just to hydrate myself and I took a very nice shower and I'm currently boiling some pasta. I'm gonna make it with cucumber and shrimp. I was defrosting some shrimp there in the water defrosting right now and I'm gonna cut up some cucumbers and I'm just gonna have a little healthy lunch. I'm super excited. I've been really trying my best to be as healthy as I possibly can and now that spring is here, I definitely want to incorporate that more because since summer is right around the corner i'm trying to literally have like the biggest hot girl summer ever like i want to feel my best and look my best this summer just because it's been a while since i've actually like like i don't know how to explain it but it's been a while since i could actually like love myself and i've been in the journey to do so so i really want to make this summer like the best summer yet and like feel confident in my own body and like my health, just everything. I want to like literally be the best version that I can for myself. And I know it sounds a little bit cheesy, but like it's the truth. So I've been kind of like, I don't know, this is not the right word to use, but it's like the only word that I could think of, but like a diet, not really. Like I'm not like on a strict diet, like no, but I've been trying to be healthier. And by that, I mean, I stopped eating breakfast. Like I eat breakfast, I make a coffee and I eat a banana, but that's it. Like before I would literally make a bagel every single day with egg. And that's super bad for me. Like it's not good cholesterol, carbs, just not good at all. Like every single day, like once in a while. Okay, but every single day, like that's super bad. So I've been drinking my coffee, of course. I'm gonna allow myself to have one coffee a day and I've been eating bananas for breakfast. So I've been doing that. And then I've been also trying to incorporate more veggies and less carbs because I eat way too many carbs. I'm always eating rice. I'm always eating pasta. I'm always eating potatoes. And like, yes, like it's good. Like you're supposed to eat your carbs, but like, that's like the only thing that I eat. Like I don't eat vegetables. I literally only eat carbs. And like, that's a little bit of an issue. So I've been trying to incorporate more vegetables, which is why I have cauliflower and cucumbers in my fridge. And right now I'm going to eat cucumbers just because that's the vibe right now. But tonight I'm also going to eat cauliflower. Like I've been really trying to be as healthy as I can. Also, I want to like clear out my skin and just 
I want to feel good in my own skin. So I've been really working on myself. And now that it's spring, it's literally the perfect time to do all these things. I'm just like so excited for summer and for spring and everything. I'm going to get to cooking before it's too late because it's actually really late and I'm starving. So let's get to cooking. <music> good this looks you guys know that i'm all about simplicity i don't do any sauces if i had lemon i would put some lemon on the pasta but unfortunately i don't have lemon so this is the final product it's super yummy i honestly kind of messed up when i cut the cucumber i'm not a pro at cutting cucumber it's giving kendall jenner but anyways whatever i still have the cucumber i don't like the skin so i peel it off and the shrimp we got some five shrimps very yummy and then the bow tie pasta this looks so good i'm so hungry so i'm gonna grub because I actually have to go renew my driver's license it expired like a week ago and I got an appointment at the DMV I have to go renew it because I really love driving and like I'm always driving so I need my license and I'm running actually super late like I was already supposed to leave my house like it's literally nine o'clock my appointment is at 9 45 and I was supposed to leave my house but honestly whatever I'm just gonna do my makeup super fast because the thing is like I don't really care like I don't do my makeup all the time but like I want to look good in my picture because the picture that like my driver's license now like the expired one has like I literally look like a child and like I'm turning like 20 this year so I definitely want to look a little bit more mature and I wanted to straighten my hair but like I literally don't have time like the DMV is like 25 minutes away so it's not like I need to get out of my house right now but I wanted to get there earlier but honestly it doesn't really matter so i just got out of the dmv and i renewed my license i'm super excited and there was a starbucks right next to the dmv so you know i had to get a coffee and yeah honestly i don't really like how the picture came out like i don't know i felt like first of all the lighting at the dmv is so bad and i don't know i don't really like how i came out but i got it right here so now i could finally drive again so I'm excited about that. And now I'm gonna go to Brickle City Center, which is like a mall in Brickle, which is like the city of Miami. And I'm going to make a return because I bought something in Abercrombie and it's a top that I know that I'm not gonna wear. And I just rather get my money back and like get something else because I know that I'm not gonna wear that top and it's just gonna be like sitting in my closet for no reason. Cause it's like a sweater top type of material and living in Miami, I don't need that. So I'm gonna go return it. Hopefully they give me my money back and if not, I'm fine with store credit cause it's my favorite store and I literally buy everything there. So yeah, let's go. Only been days but it feel like months. When it gone for you, only go like once. Life move fast when you do what you want. At this time doing what I want. So as you can see, I just got back home and I ended up going to Abercrombie and they ended up giving me a card with store credit because it had been over a month since I bought the item and they were like, we're gonna give you store credit. But it's fine because since Abercrombie is like my favorite store, like I don't mind getting store credit. Like usually I would be like, ugh, because it means like that you don't get your money back. 
but I literally love Abercrombie. It's like my favorite store. Like these jeans are from there. Literally half of my closet is from Abercrombie. I love them. So I'm fine with store credit. So I'll just probably go to Abercrombie maybe later this week or I'll just look online to see if I like anything. I'm really in need of like new shorts, like jean shorts. So I'll definitely be on the lookout for that. But overall, like I love Abercrombie and everything that they have. So I'll definitely be buying something soon for like the upcoming summer and like spring months. But yeah, I'm super happy that I got to do the whole DMV situation and I um, renewed my license. I was really like looking forward to that because it expired the 4th of April. So I literally went like over a week without being able to like drive and it was really annoying, but now I finally have my license, so I'm back to normal. And honestly, like I look really bad in the picture. Like I was really trying to look good this time, but I just didn't have time to like do my hair or anything. So honestly, I came out really bad, but there's nothing we could do about it. So it's fine. Next picture, I'll definitely try to look better. Also, I literally always like save all my driver's license and IDs. Like I have a whole pack, like a whole stack of like IDs and driver's license, my learner's license. I have like everything and it's so cute because I see like all the pictures and like how I've changed over the years. And I literally love it. Like it's so cute. I was just looking at it right now because I was putting away my old driver's license because I collect them and I was putting them and I was looking at all the old ones like the other ones like my IDs and stuff and it's so cute because I have like all the pictures and you just see like how I grew up and like how I'm growing and it's very cute like, I'm literally gonna have my first driver's license ever as a memory forever so that's really cute anyways I wanted to show you guys something so basically if you guys know Kylie Jenner the Kardashians as you guys know she just came out with a new perfume it's called the cosmic perfume and I got it and I'm literally obsessed with it like when I first smelled it I was like because mm, I really wanted it right and someone got it for me by the way that like, I didn't buy it but I was going to buy it and I was like I, I didn't even smell it like I didn't even know the smell or anything but everyone was raving on it and everyone was like oh my god it smells so good whatever so someone ended up buying it for me, which is super duper duper sweet. Like that's literally the sweetest thing ever. And I'm also trying to grow my perfume collection. So it was like the perfect timing for that. But I wanted to show you guys like the box and how it came. So basically I have it right here. This is the perfume. This is the 50 milliliter. Um, the biggest size they have is 100, but I have this one. And I'm obsessed. The bottle, I don't know if you could tell, but it's like an imperfection kind of bottle. And it smells so good. It's like the perfect like daily scent, but also like, I don't know. It just smells like womanly. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You guys have to smell it for yourself. I think they sell it at Ulta, if I'm not mistaken. But this is a box that it came in, and I wanted to show you guys how it looks. It's literally gorgeous. I'm, like, keeping this box as a memory because it's so cute. So this is the box when you open it, and basically the perfume came in here. It's called the Cosmic Kylie Jenner Perfume. Super cute. And it actually came with a cute little tray. I have it right here. Look at how adorable this tray is. It's literally a pink tray. It's so cute. It's shaped like a little cloud. And you like put the perfume on top. Tell me that isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. Like it's adorable. And this is like complimentary. Like I think they were giving it for free. But I don't know if they still do it yet. But it's literally adorable. It came in this little like box. And I'm literally keeping everything because it's just so adorable. But it literally came in here. And I don't know, it came with like this thing, which is like the scent. Like if you open this, you could like smell it. And just everything, like I'm literally keeping it because it's so cute. I'm literally obsessed. Like I have it on display because it's just so cute. I'm super grateful. And if you guys have like the chance to buy it, like in Ulta or whatever, and it's actually super affordable. Like when I think about Kylie Jenner selling something, I always feel like it's gonna be extremely overpriced, but it's actually super affordable. I think the biggest bottle is like $70 which I think is like super good, like for Kylie Jenner. I don't know, I don't know if that's just me being accustomed to living in Miami and everything being extremely overpriced and expensive, but I think that it's a good price and it smells delicious. Like every time I smell it, I like the scent more. When I first smelled it, I was like, mm, it's kind of mid. Not that it's kind of mid, but I was like, oh, like I expected something else. But now it's like, I really like love it. I love it, it's a really good scent. And it also reminds me of a perfume that I've had in the past. Like when I smell it, it reminds me of like an era of my past, like 2017, 2016. Like 
I've had a perfume with this scent before. I just don't know what it's called. But anyways, now I'm just rambling. But if you guys have the chance, like now that it's spring, I feel like it was like the perfect time to show you guys because since it's spring, like, I don't know, maybe like getting a new scent for the season. I think it's a great idea. So now for the spring, I'm going to be smelling like Kylie Jenner's Cosmic Perfume. And I'm obsessed. I love it.